Hi, I'm Nick from Nick 282K, and today I'm going to show you a simple method for measuring the speed of sound. I have two microphones here set up one meter apart, measured on this tape measure, and they're both hooked up to an oscilloscope. So if I snap my fingers by the close microphone, there should be a delay in the traces on the oscilloscope because it takes time for the sound to get from one end of that tape measure to the other. The oscilloscope is set in single sweep mode. It'll be triggered by the sound of the snap hitting the first microphone and start drawing a trace. Once the sound gets the second microphone, its trace will show that the sound has arrived and we'll be able to count the divisions to see how long it took to get from one microphone to the next. That was a little quick, so what I'm going to do is turn the lights out and take a long exposure so we can look at this in a photo. Even though the signal starts four and a half divisions in, I'm measuring to the peak because the oscilloscope didn't trigger on the first signal until it got to that peak. The space between the two traces was about 5.7 divisions, and each division is one half a millisecond. So if we multiply the two together, we'll get our answer in milliseconds, which we'll need to calculate the final speed. So that's 2.85 milliseconds for the sound to travel one meter. So if we divide the uh, one meter by the amount of time it took, we'll be able to calculate the speed of sound. So that's uh, 351 meters per second, which is a little quick. The number I was looking for was actually uh, 343, which is the number you'd be using in high school labs. Uh, the error could come from a number of things, such as air temperature or uh, my old oscilloscope, uh, the unreliability of the microphones, or uh, even just not having the two microphones spaced properly. But uh, I want to figure out the uh, error between the number that I measured, or calculated, and uh, the generally accepted 343 meters per second. So uh, that's a difference of 8 meters per second. which gives us a percentage error of 2.33%. gives us a percentage error of about 2.33%, which isn't too bad considering this wasn't lab grade equipment. It was basically whatever I could whip up in the basement. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you did, like and subscribe, and check out some of my other videos. Thanks.